Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for coming by. If you guys enjoyed today's episode, smash the like button, set 100 likes as always, subscribe to the channel. We're on the road to 20,000. We are really, really close. Uh, I know I've been gone for a few days, came back yesterday, so obviously my main goal now is to hit 20,000 and to celebrate it in the best way possible on Twitter by saying I did it. <laughs> But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for all the love messages that you got, uh, got from you guys yesterday. Guys, I am fine. Don't worry about me. Health-wise, I am okay. It was just a little scare, and it was nothing dramatically serious. But uh, So thank you, guys. Let's get into today's episode. First things first is I want to shout out my legends, as always, my brand new subscribers. So shout out to these guys right over here. Subscribers to the channel. Uh, there's actually one guy named Sub to Joker now. <laughs> Good advertisement there, bud. Appreciate it. But yeah, guys, these are legends right here. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. Would you like to make the next list of legends? All you need to do is have your YouTube public and subscribe to your channel, and you will be on the next list of legends, guaranteed, no questions asked. Thank you guys so much for your continuing support, as always. And uh, yeah, you guys are amazing, so thank you guys so, so much. Let's also get into the ring domination undercards. Now, we do have Samoa Joe ring domination. And here are the undercards for it. We do have a Royal Rumble, Daniel Bryan, Vanguard is Flash Morgan Webster. The pr uh, well, why would you go PR and Primal? I don't know. Maybe PR would have been the better one. I'm just saying, anti aggressive. But, anyways, we got the Primal is Cedric Alexander. The Nightmare is Adam Cole. Bye bye. And Summer Slam 19 is Scott Dawson. Scott Dawson, I love you, buddy. I can't wait to see you in AEW. All right. So those are the undercards for all you guys. And uh, here is our Drew McIntyre. So we did finish ranked 112 in the world. I did tumble down after I went to sleep. I went to sleep around rank 90 and then woke up rank 112. Again, I'm not fussed about it. I think deep down I knew I was going to drop past 106 because, you know, I wasn't going to spend any more than 4,000 credits on it. Uh, you know, grinding wise, it was like meh. I really wasn't pulling reveals on blocks towards the end of the event, so it was just like meh. I didn't want to spend contracts for one rank, which is probably only like 1,000 in stat points. Doesn't mean shit to me, so I ended up with just 112, and I'm happy with this. 4K. Usually I spend 4K for a ring dom plus another event, so it's pretty much two events. I usually spend about 4,000 credits, so I spent the same amount as I would. And this card is going to be as powerful or more powerful than a heroic, full heroic pro, anyways. Now, I have seen the stats. I was a little disappointed in the stats. I'm not going to lie. But, again, I spent 4,000 credits. So, I, deep down, I don't feel that bad at all. That my card isn't going to be wholly effing amazing as I thought it would be. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and claim it, actually, right here, right now, on the video. Let's go ahead and open up our mailbox. I know i got so much mail i got to talk about. So, let me just get rid of that because it was from the special stuff. So let's go ahead and get Drew McIntyre rank one as well. I love the card. Uh, not sure if they'll have a portrait pack. I'm pretty sure they will, though. If it's good, I might buy it. If it's not, meh. Probably won't. So we're going to go ahead into our cards now, and then uh, we'll see how high it goes up. It might go up pretty, really, pretty high up. So let's go ahead and get Drewy all to the top. Now, I do have, I think it was Royal Rumble's ready to go. Yeah, the Bulldog and the Big Show. This should guarantee max amount. That's tough. Two, a pro, and a egg maxed out. Didn't even do it. That's tough. <laughs> Let's try that again, shall we? Because that was a fail. So we're going to give them... A ultimate warrior now and this should max him out and there we go so he is in momentum by the way guys as you can clearly see 2.9 in all stats uh, as you can see he's not mega mega powerful actually a heroic pro could actually beat this card clearly now I do have to give him one of the stats but again he barely wins in stats to a heroic pro so I kind of feel bad for a lot of people who spent a crap load of LMS 
because LMS honestly is just not worth spending all that money unless it's like the first one where you could literally just you know get packs and stuff and then you could improve your decks but of course this LMS took about a month after the tier and we're already all maxed out decks but that's what I'm trying to say is this card is just not great now I'm gonna give him the hammer because it makes the most logical sense to give him the hammer he is gonna be the most OP card in the game so giving him the hammer makes the total sense for anyone and there we go so now Drew is the number one card as you can see now the stats are seriously OP and I still have to do the games on it I wish I could just speed them up but I can't but he'll go up a good amount I'm not sure how much he'll go up by because I don't know the LMS stats for the WrestleMania 36 but he will go up a decent amount of stats and uh, now my team is complete I f 3 my Kevin Nash he's ready to go he's a beast of a mother effer right there so my King of the Ring deck is going to be looking stacked now if anyone wants to know what my King of the Ring deck is going to look like I do have it set up so uh, we're going to actually put Undertaker right there alright we're going to get Drew in here he will actually be a solo now sandbag wise I'm probably going to go with I'm gonna have no other choice now. I'm gonna have to go with the crappy tag team right here. I'm not a fan of this tag team because this tag team could actually lose. It is possible because I don't have a compatible tag right now. However, this is where Big Show will go. And then obviously these, if I wanna be a dickhead, then this will be obviously sandbagged right over here. So say Shane McMahon and Fandango for example and there you go uh, to do I would do the probably the support glitch with Kurt Angle right here right there and boom that is the team right now guys and would you want to be facing this team in your king of the ring pretty much every spot could kill you <laughs> in some aspect so yeah guys this will be my new king of the ring deck should be fun for a little bit maybe for at least a week uh, once elimination chamber momentum slots take over because then most people drop down for momentum. So I'll have my fun with them uh, probably on Tuesday to Wednesday when those slots take over. So, yeah, guys, that would do it for today's episode. I hope you all enjoyed it. Drew McIntyre is pretty much a beast. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys on the next episode. Take care. Have a good one. And we'll see you on the next episode. Peace out. And we're on the road to 20,000, guys. Subscribe to the channel. Make the list of legends if you have your YouTube channel public. And you guys are keep staying amazing. I love you. Take care.